Welcome back to Tarot by the Bay. I'm David. Okay, Lindsey Graham was on an interview, um, where he, NBC interview, where he said, if there was a smoking gun, I think we'd be talking about it with regards to um, his uh, views on the uh, Biden impeachment. Um, what's interesting is that over the summer, when he was on Fox News, he said, when it comes to Donald Trump, there are no rules. Destroy him. Destroy his family. But when it comes to Hunter Biden and Joe Biden, they get away with almost everything. If you want to change that, we better win in 2024. Okay. Well, he seems to have a change of heart. Well, that can't go unchallenged, now can it? Fortunately, uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene was there to save the day. So at a Sunday night speech at a, con at a conference... Uh, for conservative youth, uh, a group called uh, Turning Point USA. Uh, how can Lindsey Graham in Washington, D.C. on Meet the Press say he hasn't seen a smoking gun of evidence that he doesn't uh, think we've produced enough evidence to impeach Joe Biden? Then she asked the crowd if they supported Biden's impeachment, which, of course, you can imagine a bunch of young conservatives hooping and hollering. She said, well, I think somebody else better run for senator in South Carolina. Well, you know, because we all know Marjorie Taylor Greene's one of the most thoughtful and strategic uh, people with her pulse, finger on the pulse of the United States and American values. Okay, mm, the kids are fighting. This is how evil works. It consumes itself. All right, uh, energy around... Lindsey Graham in his statement about no smoking gun. Looks like Lindsey's on the uh, the truth trail for a little bit here before, you know, he gets reminded that there's a bunch of compromise on him and then he twists himself into a pretzel and says that Joe Biden should be impeached. We'll, we'll see how that how long that takes. But um, what's the energy around Lindsey's statement here? <laughs> Queen of Pentacles. <clears throat> um, honestly... I think that, you know, finding a smoking gun on Hunter Biden linking to Joe Biden would be, you know, an amazing gift to fall into the lap of the Republican Party coming into the 2024 uh, presidential election. He would love to see it, but I think he understands that saying you've got this and then when you have to produce the evidence, it's not there. It could be extremely detrimental, <laughs> like really extremely detrimental. And basically his messaging was, if you don't have a smoking gun in this investigation, this is not going to end well for us because it's going to be exposed. You, uh, you've, you've now officially overplayed your hand. They're basically going on a fishing expedition and they better find something because if they don't, the Republican Party is doomed in these upcoming elections. In the past, we've got the Nine of Wands. Um, I think he's tentatively supported the House and Trump, as you can go back to that Fox interview over the summer, where he was supporting Trump and saying that Joe Biden is, and Hunter Biden are evil incarnate, basically. And he keeps waiting for the evidence to come, hoping the evidence is going to come. He might be looking over his own shoulder for his own blackmail and compromise to come out. But he's been tentatively supportive. Uh, current situation, what he really wants more than anything else is the Republicans to get back in power in Congress and in the presidency. He would like to see all three things happen because that's going to get him and Chuck Grassley's butt out of a, out of a sling, as it were. <coughs> but he's under. I think what's happening here is he knows that this this move by the House is detrimental to the Republicans overall success in in getting a, having a victory basically in the 2024 elections. He wants that victory. He wants to be back in power. If they're going to do this impeachment inquiry, they need to have the evidence. <sighs> yeah. Um, if you got the evidence, you can hold the impeachment trial and impeach him. But what he gets back instead of evidence, he gets attitude. 
He has an attitude for the Marjorie Taylor Greens of this world. Look at all this evidence that we look at all these things I have behind me. You know, just because I don't have evidence doesn't mean I don't have credentials. Look at my my conservative conservative. Look at my MAGA cred behind me. Yeah, this is this is kind of like the trust me, bro card when it comes to evidence in a trial. The outcome is the six of coins. Um, <laughs> they're going in talking a big, a big scandal. And I think they're going to come out with pennies. They're coming out with pennies on the dollars. I don't really don't think they're going to find anything. If they find something, it's so pathetic that it's laughable. <laughs> and I think he's trying to help. He's trying to help the, uh, the house understand the value of what they're saying and the lack of value that's going to come out of it. But they don't care. They're not interested. All right. So Lindsay's saying this not because, uh, you know, he's talking about the smoking gun, not because uh, he doesn't want Biden impeached. He's worried about him being reelected. He's worried about the Republicans not getting back into power. If the Republicans can't get back in power by the end of 2024 and with the 2025 um, uh, Congress, they they run out of time. They run out of time. The uh, the cases go forward. The convictions start happening, and all of a sudden, all these congressmen are in deep doo doo. I'm curious. Does Marjorie Taylor Greene, you know, does she actually think they've got evidence on it? I, I can't imagine she does. I can't imagine she's that clueless. Um, that she, no, she's saying it just to say it. But what is you know? Does Marjorie Taylor Greene really understand they don't have anything? What's what's kind of her vibe with this whole investigation? Um, I don't think it's the victory card. This is the look at me. I'm doing something card. Pay attention to me. Oh, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to be, <laughs> I'm so pro-Trump, it's ridiculous. Her, she's basically, she's tied herself to Trump. And um, <laughs> if he rides to victory, so will she. I still don't think she's going to be the VP. But she wants to be the VP. Yeah, but this is kind of like, it's all or nothing. She's all or nothing in with Trump at this point. Her whole political career, her whole financial future links to being with Trump. So you've got to keep putting yourself out there so that um, you can push forward whatever agenda that you want because she has nothing of substance to offer underneath it. This is her, basically her gift to America is her her social media her paying attention to her is what brings her joy. She finally gets some attention here. Um, and yeah, Marjorie Taylor Greene does really seem like it's a her way or the highway type thing. She's not going to compromise on anything. <sighs> social media. In the past, we've got the eight of wands. Social media, social media, social media. Getting out there, getting those social media clicks, get, you know, getting camera time, being on Fox News, getting we're discussing her now. This is just what she's all about. This, she, there's no substance. It's all social media clicks. Current situation is temperance. She was trying to make that transition from quote unquote firebrand social media person to <laughs> serious, um, excuse me, I was coughing there <clears throat> and I can chuckle, <laughs> politician in air quotes. And, you know, McCarthy getting kicked out kind of um, <laughs> uh, killed that angle of it. She wanted to be vice president. Uh, that's maybe she's still trying to vie for that. Just so Trump, she's super loyal and super effective. So she continues going out with her messages. She has very little to offer the people of the United States. And where... <laughs> um, I had my previous reading with Liz Cheney. Liz Cheney keeps control of her emotions. Marjorie Taylor Greene doesn't. 
when you want to be a social media person and be looked at, the whole point is to be out of control of your emotions, to be angry and outraged all the time. That's why her message is has so little value because it's all emotional based. There's no, there's no uh, strategy behind it. The temperance would be about strategy and planning forward and you know steps at a time. But she's not like that. Outcome two of swords, you know. <clears throat> Whether or not this Biden investigation comes with anything, you know, she'll burn that bridge when she gets to it. Right now, you know, great. If it comes up with something, you know, she's going to drive it all the way home. If there's nothing there, she'll talk about something else. She'll find something else to uh, to complain about because that's her version of America. There's just shallow, two-dimensional, one-dimensional. There's, there's nothing to this person. There's, there's nothing to her claims. You know, she riled up a crowd of young people <clears throat> with their message of, you know, somebody needs to run for South Carolina uh, uh, Senate. And doesn't even care, you know, what if the, they run a candidate that South Carolinians don't like and a, a Democrat gets in there. She doesn't care. There's no, there's no strategy there. It's just outrage and such. She is... Super cray. Okay. Um, after Lindsay said this, uh, is he going to get a phone call from Trump? Is he going to get bullied and reminded about the compromise is? Will Lindsay be out there backpedaling off of uh, this statement about the uh, smoking gun? Let's see. We'll wrap it up with this one. Unless something interesting comes up. <clears throat> We're <laughs> I think, um, you know, Lindsay's trying to take it down a notch to go from troubled waters to uh, the calm shore. But I think what's going to happen, I think he's going to get a call from Trump and he's going to have to appease. <laughs> he's going to have to appease the, the former president. Uh, yeah, they're going to he's going to get a call. He's going to get reminded about the dark things that Lindsay's done in the past and um, in the agreements that they had. <laughs> Lindsay's going to get a phone call. Ace of Swords. You know, every once in a while, Lindsay gets all uppity and he gets on his high horse and he seems like he's, you know, got some morals and some convictions and he's going to drive a point home. And... After he does that, then, you know, he drinks a little bit and uh, starts maybe thinking that his life's going to be okay and he's going to ride this thing out and the dark things that are on there, he can just, you know, those will get buried and he's going to be okay. And maybe nobody will talk about the stuff that he's done before. But here's the thing. If he starts drinking, he loses control of his emotion. We've seen the sloppy interviews and the pictures of him crying and begging for money for Donald Trump, but only if they sent it through Lindsay's pack. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, the lesson to be learned. So Lindsay's going to have this conviction. He, 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 going back to this one, Lindsay's trying to help the Republican Party seal um seal their their power so he's going to come he comes forward strongly with this message trying to leave the craziness behind like you know this investigation's crazy we need to be mature uh, politicians if we're going to um go ahead and take over the house and the senate so he uh goes forward with his message but his message carries no weight because he's not valued um, really, though, I think what's also going to happen is he's now moved into troubled waters and he's going to get reminded of the stuff that he's got going on in the past. They've got a sword to his throat. They, they have him hostage, basically. And every once in a while, Lindsay, for whatever reason, does the right thing. And then he quickly backs up and does the wrong thing. And then it makes Lindsay look like he's crazy. He's out of control with his emotions. He drinks too much. And, you know, he just... He looks like somebody who's been a politician for a long time, but doesn't have much value to add on here. I think Trump's going to give him a call and Lindsay's going to have to get back on to the election was stolen 
uh, by the Biden crime family uh, narrative because, you know, he's he's beholden to Trump in whatever compromise Trump has on him. So let's put a pin in this one. This will be interesting to see if Lindsey backs off on his comments that he made regarding the smoking gun for the Biden impeachment because he's already flip-flopped once on this one. So I'm sure Trump's not going to be happy to hear Lindsey out there running his mouth saying that uh, Biden's not guilty and that they don't have a smoking gun because that goes against the narrative that Trump wants. All right. So that's my reading on this one. Good luck, Lindsey. You're going to need it. Thank you for watching this video and supporting my channel. I appreciate it. Thank you for all the things you do to feed the YouTube algorithm, like likes and shares and everything like that. So my video makes it out to a wider audience. To new viewers and uh, first time viewers to the channel, welcome to the channel. Glad you found us. Hope you found this reading insightful and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.